Hi everyone. Um, one of the things that we've recently found is that uh, we found a whole bunch of internal IP addresses and we've kind of got a, a good concrete formula to put this all together. And we just want to talk about that quickly for this video. So one of the things that we usually do is uh, as soon as we find a domain, we'll, we'll run a footprint on it. So we'll take the domain and we'll work out all the DNS entries. So we'll do things like get MX, get NS, uh, get the websites, all of those, resolve them to IP addresses, take all those IP addresses, and cut them into net blocks, so usually class Cs. Um, and then what you can do is once you've reached this stage, you can say, okay, well, let me take all those net blocks, and now I'm going to clear it against rock. Obviously, if you're doing a footprint, you don't want to remember all of that stuff. I mean, we found it on a whole bunch of really, really big organizations. Um, and, you know, we, we find it's often that we've, we've kind of got this formula for it. So as you can see, we really easily and quickly ran a machine and we found a whole bunch of internal IP addresses um, just based on DNS and using the historical DNS that we could get from other providers. And we now have the ability to say, okay, well look, their internal range is likely to be something like this. Um, and that was really simple and in fact, we didn't even need to know almost anything about footprinting. We could have just run a machine to do that.